Our umpires today at the front of that. Tim Meissner of Germany, Paul van den Utten of the Netherlands. Two sides victorious on day one. We've had the losers game, if you like, from those two clashes. This one, however, teams full of energy and adrenaline just going out of shot was player of the match in that certain game, David Goodfield. Dominated through the midfield spaces, but two sides full of class. Around that baseline, on the reverse, opportunity in, Van Dorn gets across somehow because there wasn't enough on the ball. What a chance that is for Serviton to open the scoring because it had beaten Van Dorn across the goal. Eyes up, really well carried in, and then onto the back foot, not quite enough touch from Tim Nurse. Allows Van Doren to get across, and then Goodfield can't get it out from underneath his feet. That's a good pass through midfield, though. Gaul misses it, however, but it was the right ball. It was into a pocket of space, but on the opportunity, are they going to do it? Great save from Ore Ogunlana down to his right-hand side. Absolutely crucial for Serviton with such a small amount of time left on the clock. Yeah, superb pass into Denea there in the shooting position. Wonderful work from Ogunlana. That is a, a really important save. Oh, crucial at this time. Can't see out of shot is that Goodfield hasn't come back all the way back. What a choice off the bar! I was just going to say, what a goal that is. But he's come back off the crossbar. Ogun Lana was absolutely nowhere near that. He'd gone over his head before his hands had moved. Little shift, top of the circle. All the way across, right-hand castle. Taylor in for a goal for Serviton. Through the postman. Luik van Doren can't get his left hand across. Taylor, one chance, one goal. Left side of it absolutely delivers on the spot, on the nose, after a clean injection and stop, and he rips it through for the opening goal for Surbiton. Well, deadlock broken. We see Furlong's battery shift to the left, but it's Taylor. Wonderful, powerful flick. Waist high, but going like a train. Right into the corner. Here come Dragons down the left-hand side. That's a really well-read pass from Taylor. Gets his feet round again. Dragons on the opportunity. Deflection. Odin Lana. Left hand down and Serviton breathe. Well, Williams has done very well. He's got it underneath Luke Van Dorden. Uh, is it dangerous? Question, I mean, this is what comes back. Can it be dangerous to your own player? Is the first instance, which I don't think it can. Denea picks it, it bobbles and pops, he lifts it. I don't think there's any danger to serve him. This will be a great angle. Does anybody have to react on the way through? I don't think that's dangerous to anybody. I think this will get overturned. First of all, again, great play from Alex Williams to go oh so close to scoring. But I, I agree Paul, with your assessment. I have a decision for you. There was no danger, so you can avoid a uh, free hit out and they keep the refill. Yeah, thank you. There was no danger! I think that's the right decision. Michelle Meister looked almost apologetic as she oh, delivered the news. Denea, ball straight forward to Gunnar. Gunnar on the reverse, across the circle. He's danced <laughs> off his feet. Gunnar gets down, saved on the line. What a take that is. Absolutely genius from Golden on his own goal line as it was popped behind Ogunlana. Dragons, no, that's a chance gone begging. Absolutely brilliant. The sort of ball that we're more exposed to see from Arta van Dorn. Now Serviton, three on three, really. Oh, the ball's slightly behind, it's taken away the momentum. There's the ball across the circle. Good overlap behind, across the goal. Tipping opportunity, backhand. Rob Farrington can't get the ball away. Really clever movement from Serviton, and they're going to win possession back as well. Well, can he then deliver the final touch as well? He's on the left castle, De La Torre's on the right castle. It'll go to De La Torre, drags through. That's a dive from Oil. Hogan Lana has gone up in the air off the goalkeeper. They were going for a tip in to the goalkeeper's right hand side, but he does enough. They were Gunnar, the injector, running in on the reverse. Hogan Lana, right, to me, my eye, Simon, you'll know better than I, but he, I think he's done brilliantly there, not just in making that save, but in closing the angle down. Will he do it again? Out, left hand castle, Denea with a long drag in, it's charged down, Hogan Lana on the rebound! However, they 
they've poked it under the crossbar. They're going to video to say it's gone high on the way through. The number one runner is saying it's gone high onto him. Golden has said it's hit him above the knee. This is the key thing. The knee is bent. Is he crouched? It's a well, tough one. The problem is the knee's off the floor. Yeah. So what's the height relative? This is a big call. Tim? Yes. I have a decision for you. The ball was dangerous, so you can water free it out and to keep the refill. Thank you. It's been given. Not necessarily, so remember it's not about where it impacts the player on their body. Is it is the ball above essentially knee height relative to the turf, not relative to the body. So explaining that, Michelle Meister again looks almost apologetic because it's overruling the on-pitch decision. That is a huge call.